Hey guys, it's been an actual while, but anyway, um, so today I thought I would speak a bit about myself. <laughs> yeah, so basically what I'm going to speak about is being an outsider. So I'll just start this off by saying a lot with in my situation, in within me and what I did made myself an outsider. I didn't, I wasn't like um, exposed to like bullying or anything. So I basically made myself an outsider because that was more comfortable for me to, um, I was more comfortable there. And right now I'm like full on, I'm not like I really it's it's a lot of effort to try and not be an outsider i I kind of put myself in that situation because I'm just like eh, it's much effort so I sometimes it can be seen as a bad thing, but where the place I am right now it's not even close to a bad thing, so I don't care. yes, guys, I'm wearing a nighty. yes, it is night time. Do I care? not really, <laughs> but anyway. So I'll start this off with a fact about me that could have been a question asked in the Q&A that never happened. But anyway, I am left-handed. Yes, left-handed. I'm the only one in my house who's left-handed. And I, like my sister used to be left-handed, but then as she grew up, she became right-handed. But um, your girl can't even hold a pin in her right hand because like I can't get like if I had a pin, there's a, there's a pin here, see like I can hold it in whatever way, I can write like this, let me show you, I can write like this, and I can write like this with my left hand, I can write like this even, right hand. I can... Like, like, I don't know. My fingers feel weird. I don't know how I'm supposed to hold the pen with my right hand. Like, really, I don't. Like, um, I can try and write my name. Like, I'm not even writing on actual paper. I'm writing on the table, and this, like, this pen doesn't work, so it's fine. But it's already doing the things that are not meant to be done. So, I am left-handed. Now, the thing that, like, there's this, there's this stereotype about left-handed people that, like, <laughs> Our handwriting is terrible and I hate the fact that I am not proving anybody wrong because my handwriting is horrible and it's it's bad <laughs> it's really bad so like and guys you must understand I'm talking about myself which I don't like to do as in like like I said I will talk about my day I'll talk about what happened but I won't tell you anything about me as a person not as a person in the situation, but just as a person. But anyway, let's just go for it. So, yeah. My handwriting is horrible and I've tried to improve it, but it takes me like 10 minutes to write a 10-line paragraph. Well, like, let's say let's say 5 minutes to write a 10-line paragraph neatly. And that that's, that, like, if I write it the way I write, it can take me literally 2 minutes to write something like that. Because, like, my thoughts are really quick. So, then when I'm not worried about handwriting, I can write pretty quickly. But only it's only um, legible to me. But, so, me being left-handed and all of that, there's so few. In my, in my school experiences, there have been so few left-handed people in my life. Like, the one, the one time there were three of us who were left-handed... So we all in in grade three, I think. So we all sat like there's a table. One sat there, one sat here, one sat here. And the thing is, we all write in the same way, so nobody's bumping anyone. But if I have to sit next to a right-handed person, I have to sit on this side, so I don't like we don't bump each other's elbows, right? Like I said to my sister, it for me when I do makeup tutorials, it even looks weird for me to watch because I'm so used to seeing right-handed people doing it. And my sister's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, that's sad." But I'm like, that's just life. I mean, when I went to tennis, 
I just knew my I'm opposite. I'll watch what they're doing, I'll face a different direction. When I learned how to crochet, I learned watching a right handed person do it and I knew mine is just the other way because I'm so used to it. I know I know how to do these things. Because we're so used to seeing one way of doing things. It's like when it's different you don't I don't I don't realize the fact that even my own videos look weird because it looks as if I'm not using the hand that everybody uses. It is it is a bit sad, but it's it's the reality of things. Like I taught my left-handed friend how to um do a certain crochet pattern because she couldn't see, she couldn't understand, she couldn't grasp it from a right-handed person because they weren't going the same direction as she was. And why why I bring this up when I said I was talking about being an outsider is like when there are so few left-handed people you feel outside of the right-handed system you feel like ah oh, i just like sometimes I'm like i wish i could be right-handed so i don't have to worry about people because people never take into consideration that you're left-handed they really don't they take as much space as they need to write the assuming everybody because when when everyone's right-handed you can write up to here the other person can just do this but if I'm left-handed, you can write up to here and I'll just be like, okay, guys, what must happen? So they they will take, and I realize that I'm showing left-handed things. Let's say they write up to here. And they're taking all of the space and I'm just here like, okay, but can can I, can I? So uh, most, and the thing is, I will always compromise because I know, I know how to compromise. I'm so used to compromising. And so I will just write like this. I'll move my books over there and write like this. So that I'm not in the way. So that I'm not bothering anybody because they wouldn't have known. But I don't I don't I don't ever think that I've never thought in my life that I was like, no, but they should actually take into consideration that not everybody's right handed. But it's such a common thing that they don't people forget. And only me and other left handed people think about it constantly. Like, my friend once was looking at me writing and she's like, I'll never let my child be left-handed. And a lot of people are like, no, my child won't be left-handed. I'll beat them until they're right-handed. And that's that's a culture here. That's, that's what people say. That's what people believe. And I'm so grateful to my parents for allowing me to be left-handed. Because another thing about me is that I'm very slow. So it was going to take me forever to learn how to be right-handed. So, um, like, I, I, I can say that I'm, like, I'm physically slow. Um, I could say I'm mentally slow, but, like, like I explained to my parents, things that can be explained without using numbers, I can get those things quickly. But as soon as numbers get involved, then it takes me a lot longer to process. So, you could say that I'm, I'm slow, because you know when they, when they say, like mental maths is like, and me and mental maths, we, we don't see each other, eh? We saw each other back in the day, like when we were in grade 3, when we had to stand up and say mental maths things. That's simple, but ask me now. Um, Like 56 times 27. And I'm here, I'll, I'll be like, okay, fine. For this times this. And then I'll, I'll do the calculation in the air, like literally as if it were on paper, but it will take me a lot longer. Whereas my father's a math teacher and he's here. He's here. But when it comes to words, I'm like this. I'm like this. But people don't really think as much. People don't think you're as quick or as witty when you're... Like if a person who, who just like knows them, knows everything about history or knows everything about English or the, a language or something, just speaks, then they're like, oh, this person is smart. But let a person who who knows numbers very well come, then they'll be like, "Yo, oh, this person has great mental math." Because people have this 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 urge, well, urge or this not fantasy, like they they have this um they find I don't know entertainment. Like there's a word, but I can't think of it right now. They they have this um excitement about somebody 
who can calculate without a calculator. And I think it's really cool, but I could never be one of those people because it takes me forever to process those types of things. And so me being slow like that is like, I, I wouldn't have been able to relearn how to write quickly enough to progress through the grades. So, yeah. So basically, when, when, you, when you like, um, literally when I started my YouTube channel, I was wondering, like, since I'm left-handed, will people, will people think it's weird to watch my makeup tutorials because they're, it's on the wrong side, let's say. Will it be weird for them to watch? Because it's weird, like, I don't find it weird anymore because I know I am left-handed. But in the beginning, I was like, will people not watch it because I'm left-handed because it looks different to what it should look like? And the thing, the thing is that um, I just want people to, like, um, be understanding. Just accept it. Accept that I'm left-handed. Accept that we'll bump shoulders. Accept that you need to just be understanding. Don't come fight with me and be like, oh, how can you, how can you have your, or just look at me as if how can you be bumping my shoulder? Oh, you're left-handed. Wow, a person who's not normal or whatever don't do that leave me life will go on we all have many 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 differences so i don't need to be judged i don't need to be looked at differently i don't need to be seen as an inconvenience because you need to teach in a different direction than you use you're used to luckily for me i don't i don't need you to change direction because i i've i've learned it i just do it i just automatically like when i was i was what when I, I watch um like dance tutorials, I automatically do it on the other side. I'm like, flip, I'm doing it wrong. I need to, I need to change. Because to me, I, I'm doing what they're doing, but I'm doing it on the wrong side. Because um, this is the, obviously the stronger hand for me. But like, I'm just like, yeah, I'm doing it. Then I have to remind myself, oh, flip, they're right-handed. Let me, let me follow them. But it's never a thing of, oh my gosh, why couldn't I just be right-handed? Before it used to be like that, but now I've just accepted. I like the fact that I'm left-handed. I'm okay with the fact that I'm left-handed. And people need to be okay with other people being left-handed. It's not a big deal, guys. We all can, we all are able to do the same things. You see, we're all able to do the same things. Just, just help a person out. <laughs> it's it really isn't a big thing, but there's a whole stigma around it, and which makes it bad. So. Just guys, just just be welcoming, just be open. Like the, I, it feels like I'm talking about a stupid thing, but people are really st feel really strongly about it, and it's just unnecessary. But uh, yeah. Anyway, that's the beginning. This is the first part of the video. See you guys later. Like literally later. <laughs> See you guys later.